Coyote's hair has migrated from the top of his head to his face. Yes. Yes, it has. Fire! A fire on the mountain. And we are rolling. Welcome back to the base camp set for another episode of Howlin' with the Pack. I'm here with the Coyote Pack. Ooh, that's kind of a tongue twister of a whole lot of axe at the end. All right, guys, so today's episode is gonna be a little different. I haven't been inside the studio in a number of weeks. We've been out on a number of different productions um, and life has been incredibly exciting. Now, you may notice the beard on my face, right? Eh, it's getting a little longer right now and it is summer and I usually keep it short during the summer, but I get a lot of comments about my beard. So we thought today, maybe it'd be kind of funny to do a Coyote's Beard episode. And in fact, I have an entire list of comments and I guess just statements from the Coyote Pack about my beard. Now today is extra special because this episode is being brought to us by Dollar Shave Club. Please shave your beard. This is not hate. I think that's probably when I had a really long beard this past winter when we started the Base Camp series. Coyote's hair has migrated from the top of his head to his face. Yes, yes it has. All the hair from my head has definitely migrated down onto my chin. I can't stop staring at the beard. That one comes in from King Shalid. King Shalid, yeah, well, you can stare at the beard now too. That beard does not work for him. Hmm, okay, well that person uh, then was argued with, no, 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 that beard is absolutely epic. Do not shave that beard. Okay, well maybe I stick with the beard, maybe I don't stick with the beard. You guys will notice that from episode to episode, my beard always changes length. And that's of course because my beard is constantly growing. Now sometimes we do episodes in environments like the desert where it's very hot, very dry, very dusty. I try to keep the beard very short and close to my face because it actually helps keep me a little cooler. Now we're in environments like Alaska where it's cold, oftentimes I will grow the beard longer. I had sort of a mountain man look going on when we did the Alaska episodes. That's partially because I wanted to blend in with the Wolverine. Uh, another comment here, perfect beard. And then of course this one from Andrea2006 says, his beard grew back. Well, I think the only time I actually shaved the entire beard off was when we did the bee beard episode. I think you guys all remember when I covered my face in bees and then was stung 30 times in the face and swelled up like a giant potato. So why all the comments about the beards? Okay, I literally, this list goes on and on. I won't keep reading comments off of the beard page, but we thought it's kind of interesting because the beard has become sort of a quintessential look for me on camera. People also always comment on how Mario has a beard. Are Coyote and Mario brothers? No, we're not related in any way whatsoever, but we both have beards. Why doesn't Mark have a beard? I don't know. I think Mark has such good hair on top of his head, he doesn't feel the need for a beard. But anyways, check this out. This showed up in the mail the other day. The only thing I removed off it was my actual address. Um, ooh, it says, someday I'll be another cardboard box. That's awesome, Dollar Shave Club Recycles. But this little kit here is awesome. And they just sent it to us. I'm gonna open it up and it says, wow, you bought some great stuff. And there is some really cool stuff inside of here, guys. Now, the first thing that I'll pull out is their quintessential shaver, right? So this is a heavy bodied handle got a lot of weight to it and they also send you a packet of razor capsules. Now obviously if you're a younger kid and you're just starting to shave you want to be extra careful. If you're a dad and you already use these, fantastic. And if you see my face today, I got a real nice clean line that all came from a Dollar Shave Club razor. Now one of my favorite things, where is it here? Shave butter. No, this is not butter that you put on toast. I tried it, it does not taste good. But what it is perfect for is lathering up your face and then shaving in that perfect design. Uh, right now I've got the quintessential look, but I guess you could shave lightning bolts, maybe some animal tracks, uh, or if you're like Mario, sometimes he designs dinosaur shapes in his beard. Actually, I made that part up, but maybe if you guys think it's a good idea, write in the comment section below and tell us why should Mario shave dinosaur shapes in his beard. So basically what you do is you squirt that out. Yeah, that smells amazing. You want your face to smell good, you take some of this and you just lather it on in the right spots and then you get your shave on. And now I'm covered in shave butter, so I'm gonna just go ahead and 
wipe that on my pants and we're gonna move on to the next product. The next thing they have is the Amber Lavender Body Cleanser. I bet you guys didn't realize that Dollar Shave Club wasn't just about shaving, it's also about keeping yourself clean. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, that smells good, just like I'm used to. And uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna just wipe that on my pants too. And I kinda can use it as a detergent as well. Now the next thing that's in here, get ready for this. This is my absolute favorite thing that Dollar Shave Club makes. They are known as One Wipe Charlies. If you can use your imagination, what is something that you might wipe with a One Wipe Charlie? Well, when you're out in the wilderness and you need to make a number two, this is something that fits perfectly in any backpack. And there you have it. That is all of the items that come inside of the Dollar Shave Club kit. So if you guys are interested in getting your Dollar Shave Club kit sent to you, you can start becoming a member of Dollar Shave Club. Now to do that, all you need to do is visit dollarshaveclub.com slash coyote. This is a special coupon code that's gonna get you guys hooked up today with your starter kit. So I'm sure you guys have lots of more questions for me in the comments section below. Maybe some of those questions are about the beard. Maybe it's the fact that I still have all of this shave butter on my face, which actually is great. It's sort of a moisturizer as well, so it just works into your skin and then you smell extra delicious at the end of your adventure. Or I guess after your shower adventure because I don't ever really shave when I'm out there in the wild. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next Base Camp Adventure. All right, that's a cut. Hey Coyote Pack, if you want to see the ultimate beard episode, make sure to go back and watch as hundreds of bees cling to and then sting my face as I attempt to wear the iconic bee beard. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.